Somebody said time to buy a Corvette. <laughs> Hold on. Out of their mouth is, oh, that's not good. Time to buy a Corvette. Well. <laughs> What's going on, people? Today, we have Dave Attell. Let's get into it. Come on. All right. How's it going? All right. Montreal party town. You know what this town could really use? Another strip club. I think that would help things out. <laughs> I went about a block and a half without seeing one. I got a little nervous. You guys love to drink. I'm into that, man. I like this new local drink. What is it called? A lot? I think that's great. Yo. Now, this is my first time uh, seeing David Tell. I think it's a subscriber requested. Came out with a lot of energy. I'm liking it so far. I'm enjoying it. Let's get back into it. Let's go. Here's a little drinking tip. Never get drunk when you're wearing a hooded sweatshirt. Because you will eventually think there's someone right behind you. <laughs> I had a little trouble getting into the country. In fact, I got stopped at the airport. In fact, I have a new nickname at the airport. They call me Random Bag Chick. And um, I've been traveling all over. And I'll tell you, one of my favorite places is Mexico. Have you guys ever Mexico? It's kind of like here but it's a little more fun. You know why? Because they have something down there that we don't have here. It's called no laws at all. <laughs> and laws always get in the way of fun, you know? Like here you go to a doctor. In Mexico, you are a doctor. And I think that's great. What? So with all the traveling and drinking and stuff, like that, I really don't work out or anything like that. I know a lot of comics talk about it. They're always telling you you should jog and things like that. I don't jog. You know why? Not because I'm against jogging. It always seems joggers are the ones that find the dead body. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you never find a dead body when you're sitting at home eating ice cream, watching porno. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I know you like porno. <laughs> talk more about porn? You got it. Some people uh, are what? against it. And I say, hey, Oklahoma, whatever a man and a woman and another woman with a penis and a midget that do a parrot, that's their business. Oh, my goodness. He's going in. I can't help it if I like parrot. So, so far, he has like a, a shotgun style of like telling jokes. This is like one after another, one after another. And they're kind of, they're almost somewhat random. There's no like theme. It's just like punchline, punchline, punchline. So far, so good, you guys. Let's keep it going. It's, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Parrot's my favorite pet. I want a parrot. You know why? I won't teach him dirty words or songs. I'll teach him things I should know. If I had a parrot, I'd use him more like a palm pilot. <laughs> I would teach him phone numbers and addresses or just things that could help me in a crisis. You know, like, in case of an earthquake, get in the doorway. <laughs> <laughs> no one has freckles on their ass. Use a condom. <laughs> oh. Talk more about condoms? Okay, here it comes. <laughs> Fellas, never let a woman put a condom on you, okay? Do it yourself. Because when a lady does it, it can be embarrassing. It's like, oh look, oh look, there's still more room. <laughs> <laughs> we could tie it off and use it again and again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Every man wonders about his size, right? Laying a bed alone at night or in a hammock with a monkey. Mm. You start thinking, do I have a really small, uh -huh, or just gigantic legs? I don't know. <laughs> Luckily, there's a test. The first time you show it to your girlfriend or doctor or press it up against a bus window or something like that. Oh my goodness. That's some New York when shit, When someone yo. looks at it for the first time, you want a reaction. You want some excitement. You want another language, if possible, like, Santa Maria! Ay, papi! Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no! Mm. That's good. <laughs> but if someone looks at it and the first thing out of their mouth is, Oh, that's not good. <laughs> time to buy hey, a Corvette. Hey, that's right there. Well... <laughs> He said, time to buy a Corvette. <laughs> Hold on. Out of their mouth is, oh, that's not good. Time to buy a Corvette. Well, <laughs> now, ladies, is it really the size of a man's penis that matters, is it? Yes. Well, the whores have spoken. But, oh, <laughs> Lordy. Oh, ha. 
Ahihu. Ahihu Ahihu Wang. He don't give a damn. Some women say yes. Some women say no, it's how he uses it. How he uses it. What is this man doing with this magical penis? <laughs> is he building things and fighting terrorism? What is he doing? A gazebo, how did that get here? <laughs> Whatever happened to love, huh? Huh? Don't you ever wish you could uh -huh. make love to the first person you ever made love to again, mm. just to show them how good you got at it? <laughs> hey, look who's not crying. He's wild. You know what I think ruins all these relationships? These love songs, right? It's all about falling in love and falling out of love. What about the middle times of just being with someone? Hour after hour, day after day, for years on end. I want to hear those tunes. Songs with titles like, hey, how long does it take to pick out a pair of shoes, bitch? What's going on in there? Hot, top, top. I guess what I'm trying to say is I really miss my dad. I really do. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. The transitions are ridiculous, dog. The transitions are crazy. There is no filter on these transitions, yo. Let's keep it going. Let's go. You know, it's when you're young, you think your dad's Superman, and then you grow up and you realize he's just a drunk who wears a cape. Well, there you go. <laughs> what? Have I ever shaved my pubic area? Interesting question, father. Let me tell you this. I have shaved my pubes, everyone, okay? Not because I wanted to. I was involved in a horrible gum accident. Now, it was horrible. Rather not talk about it. It was horrible. <laughs> Fellas, if you shave your pubes, you better shave your whole body, because nothing looks weirder than a hairy gut, hairy legs, and nothing in between. It looks like a garbage fire broke out on your nutsack. My best friend is a midget, now. Hear me out. What the hell? We do everything together except seesaw, because that really wouldn't be fair to him. Hmm. <laughs> I'll tell you, being a friend, you know, sometimes you gotta lie. Like, will he ever live his dream of being a weatherman? I doubt it. Because no one will ever believe a midget weatherman. A flood is coming. Yeah, to you. All right? Thank you very much. You guys have been a blast. All right, so that was Dave Attell. Listen, man, he's got like a shotgun, comedic uh, punchline, no transitions. I mean, he was going from one joke to another joke to another joke to another joke. All right, but I'm liking that style. I'm liking it so far. Dude is crazy, ridiculous, funny. He has no filter. He's straightforward, straight to the punch. Don't care about how you feel. Hey, man, I'm liking it. Shout out to the subscriber who requested that one because that was a good video, man. Let's keep that going. I'm definitely going to hop on some uh, more of these videos. And, man, till next time, you guys, keep it positive. Stay safe out there. Peace. If I should die at a young age, thank the Lord for giving me a break. If I should die at a young age, thank the Lord for giving me a break. Because I'll probably live forever, ever, probably live forever. Live forever, ever. I'll probably live forever.